What is good everyone and welcome back. Today is Sunday and we are starting our Madden 19 franchise mode today. No gameplay, just straight picking the team, breaking down the team and figuring out what I'm going to do. And you guys are gonna be helping me every single way. Before I even dropped the video, you guys were helping me. Now check this out. One poll right here. You're seeing it right on the screen right here. Poll number two, you guys are seeing on the screen right here. Poll number three, you guys are seeing on the screen right here. And I appreciate everybody that voted. Over a thousand people voted every single time. Now, if you guys do want to be part of more of the polls, uh, more interactive with the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. You know what I'm saying? And all the videos, smash that thumbs up. Um, share the video, of course. But also, when I do post something in the community tab, don't be afraid to go over to the community tab. Click it. And then, you know, comment whatever you want or or vote if it's a poll. I like to do the polls and stuff, but um, you guys have been showing the love. So, with that being said, I've been taking some time. And before we jump into the video, I just want to say this. Now, first it was like the Redskins. Then people were saying do the Giants. Those are the two main ones. Hold up, my phone. My dog, you know, barking upstairs. But um, those are the two main teams. Now... I was reading the comments on the Giants poll and everybody was saying don't do the Giants. Even though it was the number one voted thing, a lot of people in the comment section were saying don't do the Giants and a lot of those people were commenting something very insightful and it made a lot of sense. They're like, Dre, don't do it because you do the Sumo Joe career mode already with the Giants. So they already see the Giants right there. And then I did another series with the Giants as well earlier in the year. So they're like, you're doing too much Giants, you gotta do somebody else. I sat back, I was thinking about it, and honestly, you guys are right. So I am not doing the New York Giants. The Washington Redskins was also a team I was thinking about, but they did not make, well, they made the last three, but they didn't win the last three. So you guys will see right here. Not my favorite team, the Baltimore Ravens. You guys do see in the back, I have a couple jerseys back there. Not the Seahawks, of course, not the Steelers, um, not the Vikings, not the Bears, not the Bengals, but we are going to do Speed it up. Speed it up. Two hours later. We are going to do. Two hours later. We are going to do. Not the Giants. Come on. Where is it? Here we go. No, no. Here we go. Wait. Go back. Here we go. The Carolina Panthers. Now, there are worse teams in the NFL, but it's not about having the worst team. It's about having a team that did not do well last year or a team that underachieved. And I. Trey Drizzle and you guys. Um, I'm not sure you guys' name, but all the people that support me, which is you guys watching this video, which is you guys commenting everything you want to comment in the comment section, are gonna build this team up. Now, I already did this, obviously, you're seeing right here, but also when I finished this off camera, I made trades for draft picks, not for players. For draft picks so i have like five or six first round draft picks i did some crazy stuff man i was like you know what i'm gonna build up draft picks and i'm gonna trade some of my players away at the same time to do the combo package so i can get players like antonio brown maybe Le'Veon bell maybe odell beckham khalil mack i want to build this team up to be better than the jacksonville jaguars team i built up oh, that was a good team but i think i can do even better and with your guys' help, I believe we can do better. So, this is up to you. And starting right now, I want you guys to go down below and comment every single step of the way. Who do I get and why do I get them? AB, I mean, Antonio Brown is, he said he wants to leave the Steelers. So, why not come to a team like the Panthers? Decent defense, actually a good defense. Cam Newton, Christian McCaffrey. Cam Newton has never really had a top, top, top tier receiver. What if I get Antonio Brown? Say I also get Odell? What? I already got McCaffrey, who's a receiving back, one of the best backs in the NFL. Cam Newton. Greg Olson. I think we can have a very good team. And that's why I was kind of excited when you guys said pick the Panthers. I was like, all right, I'll do that. So right now, comment down below and let me know. Players that will fit in our scheme. You guys know I love to bomb the ball deep and I run out of shotgun 98% of the time. So who's gonna fit out of that scheme? 
or who says it's signed to the team. Offensive players and defensive players, give me a reason why. And of course, every single video like last time, shout outs in every single video. So I'm in the preseason right now. You guys are going to see all four preseason games sims, and we are 1-0. Uh, we beat the Bills 20 to 17. Obviously, our starters do not play the whole game. They barely play at all, actually. Um, but it's still important to win these games and obviously go through it and make sure nobody gets hurt. Also, we'll check out the roster and we will check out um, the division, see who's in our division, see if it's tough. I actually do not even know. Now, my dog is right here. He's downstairs. He's always. All right, come here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Up, up. Come on. Uh, yes. Look, buddy. Look. All right. He doesn't want to be up here. All right, go. Play with your toys. Um, He's distracting me. Okay, we are 2-0. Oh. You guys will see we beat the Dolphins 27-13. to um, Pats are 1-1. One one. I believe the Pats probably don't even play anybody. Think about it. Brady. All them old dudes, Gronk, they ain't playing in preseason. So we are now pre uh, simulating, excuse me, week number three. Steelers are one and two. And we beat the Pats 32 to 28. Now it's time to cut some players. You guys are going to be seeing 14 players cut. And this is something where I was like, all right, well, obviously, obviously if you're not good, you're going to get cut. But players 70 overall and above are very important for me. I'll tell you why in a second. Also, players that are like bulked up in a position. Say I have four running backs and they're all like 73 or above. That's actually very good for me. If I have like six or seven receivers all like 74, 75 or above, that's also very good for me. Um, the reason why is because I use those low 70 overall players as bait to get draft picks. Teams love, for some reason, trading over their first overall draft pick for like a low player, especially a young player. Like, oh, I can develop them. But what they don't know is I'm doing this for one year. One year we change teams. So I don't need those like low players. They ain't developing. We getting the best players and we trying to win a ring now. Uh, and we lost our last preseason game 21 to 7. Okay, so with that being said, you guys are going to see right here, big decision. It's time to set our goals. Now, like I said, after every single season, we do end up switching teams. So my goal is to make the Super Bowl. It's just say win the Super Bowl. That is my goal. That is our goal, right? Win the Super Bowl. Um, what else? You guys are seeing 17 games on the schedule, of course. And we do have a lot of tough teams. Now, you guys are seeing the roster and starting quarterback, obviously, Cam Newton, one of my favorite quarterbacks. Not the most accurate, but probably the most athletic and has very good quarterback skills, though. He does. He does. Greg Olson, our tight end. Now, our running back, McCaffrey. Very good. A-plus running back. But this is where it comes to uh, my acknowledgement that the receivers are trash. Obviously, I've known this for a while, watching football every single Sunday when football is on, and just seeing Cam Newton have no help. Uh, Devin Funches and... Moore, DJ Moore, Devin Moore, like, who are these players? Who is the Panthers? Who are the Panthers organization going after in the draft? Or are they drafting right? Or I don't know. But it's time for us to go into free agency or to go into the trade block or just manually trade and get a receiver. That's my number one priority. A receiver. And then also on offense, I want an offensive lineman. So technically two receivers and an offensive lineman. Now, defensively wise, I want a free safety. I want a lot of things. A free safety, I want a cornerback, I want an outside linebacker, and I want a strong safety. So we have a lot of things on the want list, but this is where you guys come into play. And as, you know, more educated people of the sport than me, you guys, are, you know, you guys know everything. Let me know who to get, who fits the scheme, and also, if you guys can make some trades in your own Madden and it worked, let me know. Pick the Panthers, make some trades, and if that worked for a good player, let me know and I'll do it because we want to build this team and potentially make the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. Now, obviously, I'm going to be doing uh, all Madden, the hardest mode. We need the best players we can. So on top of making trades, we also have free agency. This was all 
something I did in the first episode or the first series as well. So in the second series, I'm going to be doing the same thing. There are some key free agents out there. And you guys are going to be seeing right here. The, the punter, Marlon King. Or Marquette King. Excuse me. Marquette King is the punter. Not a bad punter. I mean, look at his speed. 85 and 86 speed in acceleration. Defensive tackles at 76. I mean, there's a running back at 76. Kicker at 76. There are players that I could use. For instance, if I was like, you know what, I'm going to trade away an 83 overall player to get a player that's better, but then I'm, I, I need to fill it in a gap, I will fill that gap in with a player that's like a 78, 77, 76, and then potentially do well with him, get some uh, stat points, and then boost him up. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just trying to get the best players possible. So if I got to trade away a medium player to get a good player, I'll do that. And then fill them, fill them in with an okay play. But with that being said, you guys are seeing weeks one, Cowboys, two, Falcons, three, Bengals, four bye week, five, Giants, and in the division. This is going to be tough. Falcons, Saints, the Bucks, you never know, and then us. Can we do it? Can we make it? It's up to you guys, and I hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys are ready, comment down below, I'm ready. Comment down below, let's go. Comment down below, turn up. And I can't wait, man. This is going to be lit. It's going to be fire. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys later. I am.